Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial on the Advanced Installer YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the required steps to deploy a Python application to IIS using Advanced Installer. Be aware that the features used in this tutorial require at least the professional edition of Advanced Installer. I've already created and set up a project in Advanced Installer, so the next step is to add the application resources. To do this, navigate to the Files and Folders page and place the resources within the application folder. Now it's time to create the application on the IIS page. Go to the IIS view and click the New Web Application button. When prompted, select the folder containing your application. Next, let's create an application pool for the app because running the application under the default app pool might lead to unexpected behavior. To create a new application pool, click the New Application Pool button within the IIS view. Once the application pool is created, let's enable it. Select the newly created application, go to the Application Pool tab, and then check the Use Installed Application Pool option. Now we have to enable the IIS features using a Windows Feature Bundle. Go to the Prerequisites view in Advanced Installer and use the new Windows Feature Bundle button. Based on your scenario, select the target operating systems for the Windows feature. When a new application is created in Advanced Installer Project, an IIS launch condition is automatically enabled in the Software tab from the Launch Conditions page. Since we made sure that IIS is enabled on the target machine via Windows Features, it is safe to remove the software launch condition. To ensure the successful operation of your application, Python must be installed on the server. So let's add Python as a prerequisite. Navigate to the prerequisites page, click the new executable package button and choose the Python installer. Here you can tailor the prerequisite installation conditions based on your scenario. And that's all. Now all you have to do is build the project and run the installer. For more guides and tutorials, check out the Advanced Installer YouTube channel or visit the Advanced Installer blog.